our son Eric um, Hill, he was uh, love life to the fullest. He, anything he did, he did at 100%. And so he loved being a firefighter. He was an awesome paramedic and uh, a wonderful daddy. Eric was a firefighter in Lubbock, Texas. He worked for the Lubbock, Texas Fire Department. Uh, I don't know that his passion was, when he started, was firefighting. He, he loved to be a cowboy. He loved to ride horses. He loved to work cattle. So the days off were attracted, attractive for him so that he could do that. But he grew to love the fire service tremendously as he worked in it and met with the guys and the camaraderie really, uh, really got to him and he, he loved doing that as well. He wanted to fight fires, he wanted to make a difference, and he wanted to save somebody. And that's what we've been told by many people, is Eric just wanted to save somebody. And, uh, and we were told by the chief that Eric was one of the best paramedics in, in Lubbock and saved many, many lives. From the time he was born, he, he just went 100 miles an hour. He knew two speeds. He was either going as fast as he could go, or he was stopped. And, it, it was just always, anytime there was something, when he was around, there was something going on. He kept things going all the time. So there, I don't know that there's one story, but there's, there's hundreds out there, and we've heard hundreds more since, since his passing of things that he would do at the fire stations and things like that. Yeah, we have had so many stories just to say he was the, a loyal friend and would do anything for anybody. And... You know, he was our son. You know, we were constantly on him for not doing something, you know. Um, but stories over and over and over about what a loyal friend he was. Firefighters have come to us and said, you know, Eric was there when I went through my divorce. Eric was there when I was struggling with alcohol alcoholism or something like that. So uh, we've learned a lot about him, that he was that loyal friend and he was uh, had that personality to give and to, mm -hmm. to be a servant. Cowboys and firefighters have a lot of things in common. Mm -hmm. They like adrenaline, they like to go uh, things to go fast and things like that. So I think that really attracted him. But as he got into it, he really learned to love that and he uh, they called him the, the black cloud because usually a lot of the times that Eric was at a station, they didn't have fires. He would complain to us, well, I haven't fought a fire in a week, and I won't, and, uh, but he, he liked that. He liked to go in and help people and do things for people, and that really made, made it what he wanted to do. The local fire department from Lubbock was wonderful. They, uh, they were with us from the second that the accident happened, and, uh, and they still are with us. The Lubbock Fire Department has been wonderful. We, they call us, we call them. And it's not just the local, it, it was, uh, we had firefighters all the way from Canada, all over the, the country come to Eric's service. And uh, the firemen will be our, our family from now on. You know, Eric was a dad. He had two little girls that were three years old when he passed away. And uh, so we'll always remember him as, as dad. He loved those girls more than you can even imagine, you know. And uh, but he was a, he was just a, a good guy, and he had lots of friends, and he was loyal to the end. So uh, we'll we'll remember him as a, a loyal friend and a great dad. He loved saving lives. He wanted to be uh, make a difference in people's lives, whether it was his fellow firefighters, whether his fellow cowboys, whether it was his family, whatever it was. He he wanted to make a difference, and. You know, I don't know how the fire department chooses people, like you said before, but they, they find people that, that just have different qualities, and they've all been wonderful to us, and it just seems like there's an unbelievable amount of good people in the fire service, and we're, we're thankful for that, and we, we just pray that people will remember them and, and be careful. You know, Eric was killed on the side of the road, and, and please slow down and move over, and when you see guys on the side of the road working those accidents. Just uh, just take your time and do, do those things to keep those guys safe. There's a family there behind them, not just a, a fireman on the road. There's a family there. So please uh, do what you can to keep those guys safe. He was a success from the very, when he was a little boy, you know, uh, Mark taught him, uh, you know, you're gonna do it yourself. Nobody's gonna do it, nothing is free. And that's how Eric lived. He worked hard at what he did. A lot of times, of course, as parents, you want your son to be 
a lawyer or a doctor. Or, and Eric had those talents. He, he was smart enough and he was uh, had the abilities. He could walk into a room and everybody in the room turned around and looked at Eric when he came in. I, it, he just had that smile and that personality. He'd been a great politician. But, but he didn't want to be that. He wanted to be, he wanted to be a cowboy, a simple cowboy, and that led him into the fire service. But he was successful, you know, and and maybe we didn't see that as parents as much as as, as we wish we would have <laughs> before he, he passed. But now we see how good he was at the things that he did and how hard he worked at it. Very proud. This makes us proud. Very proud. Moment we share to the love.